All right, lads, so today we're going to be reviewing Inform Chris Rolfe, plays for DC United and MLS. He's 5 foot 8 tall, he's right footed, he's got medium, medium work rates, a 3 star weak foot, and 3 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts so is 86 balance, 86 jumping, 83 agility, 83 stamina, and 79 shot power. We have also included all the upgrades over his non inform as a comparison for you. So you can see each individual stat upgrade from all of his stats there. So this is the team we used in Form Rolf in, a 4-3-3 false 9 MLS team with Rolf at centre forward. So now to the game place, you can see how he was performing for us. Now looking at Rolf's card stats, nothing really jumps out at you. It does look very average to be honest. But he has had a plus 8 shooting boost, which was sorely needed, especially with him being a centre forward. If you're planning on playing him at striker, he did really have poor shooting beforehand. Does look a bit more respectable now. Now, pace wise, now he is only average 75 uh, acceleration, 76 sprint speed. So you're not going to be winning many sprints against the pacier defenders. You will get outstripped for pace. So try and use his uh, skill dribble, try and use that dribbling, which is not too bad. His dribbling is only 70, but it does feel feel a lot better in game that is due to his 83 agility and 86 balance so can do a decent job in the dribbling department not too bad at all but he is really weak he does only have 50 strength so he will be getting dispossessed really easily especially with the strong center backs if you get swamped then you're gonna be losing out so try and use that skill dribble and his agility to try and avoid the players try and avoid as much contact as you can now, shooting-wise, he wasn't actually that bad. Did have a few shots that were just straight at the keeper. Some shots were quite poor, but most shots were actually on target. They didn't actually miss the goal. Did actually get a few nice finishes as well, including a nice couple from outside of the box as well. Did have this nice little dink over the onrushing keeper. So, not bad finishing-wise. Did do a decent job. A lot better than I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, especially in front of goal. And was decent in the air as well. Now, he is only 5 foot 8, but does have 86 jumping on him. So, he can get up to win them headers. Did actually manage to win a couple of headed finishes as well so overall pretty surprising little player wasn't expecting too much going into it but was actually surprised in how uh, well he did perform so let's have a look at info and roles performance stats so in six games he did manage to bag nine goals and get one assist all of his stats are on the left goals are on the right position map does show you where his goals were scored and that assist was created as well so overall, we're giving Inform Rolf a good 8 out of 10. As I said, I wasn't really expecting all that much from Inform Rolf, but did do a lot better than, than we expected, so that is always good to have. Go in with some low expectations, always great when you get surprised by a player. Now, he's not perfect by any means. Some of his stats are fairly average. Other than some of his physical stats, the rest of his skill stats are quite average. And he does have poor medium, medium work rates as well, which I don't like. But sitting as a centre forward, not too bad as a, uh, maybe as a, as a striker. But he was decent at putting the ball in the back end of the net. That is what you want. He does have three star weak foot and three star skills. Were manageable. Did actually grab a couple on his left. So not too bad. And three star skills, I don't mind. As long as we've got the roulette, then I'm fine. So finally, we're just going to leave you with Inform Rolls, positives and negatives for you to have a look at. Now, his price range is a 10 to 24k on PlayStation, 8 to 20k on Xbox. So you should be able to pick him up closer to his lower price band. We paid 9k, which is not too bad as when you think of it before the price ranges come in. Some of these silvers were really, really overpriced. So not a bad play for 8 to 10k if you want to try him in an MLS silver team. Good shout for a silver MLS team. Or a Silver USA team if you're making one. Did do better than those stats actually do suggest. So I would recommend going out and trying him for that price. So hopefully you did enjoy this review. If you did, please leave a like. Does that part a lot? Try to grow as much as you can. We try to do the most in-depth reviews on YouTube. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. Loads more to check out on there. Follow me on Twitter as well. Cheers lads. Thanks a lot for watching. See you later.